gentlemen, welcome to the fight of the century. In one corner, we have CNN, the American basic cable channel owned by Turner Broadcasting System, a subsidiary of Time Warner who donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to Barack Obama's campaign. In the other corner, we have MSNBC, another American basic cable channel owned by Comcast, who also donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to Obama, and whose content is 85% opinion and only 15% actual reporting, according to a recent Pew report. The fight is on! Yes, the U.S. government shut down. It cost millions of dollars and hurt Americans in a variety of ways. But covering that with hardcore facts is not what CNN and MSNBC are fighting about. Studies are concluding that humans have almost certainly caused climate change and that if we don't change our ways, we're all going to die, basically. But that's also not what these two networks are duking it out about. Hundreds of thousands of people are dying every year in wars being fought for greed, but that pales in comparison to what's really worth fighting over in the news, and that is ratings. While all of these horrible things were going on, both CNN and MSNBC sent out press releases about how they are the best contender. Not because of the news they're reporting, obviously. No, they are the champs, according to themselves, because of their ratings. And the best part is, they both claim to be number one in the ratings. They both specifically said they beat each other out. CNN's press release said, CNN tops MSNBC for second straight quarter. MSNBC's release said, MSNBC tops CNN for third quarter 2013. So both of them beat the crap out of each other, according to themselves. And technically, they're both right. MSNBC beat CNN during weekday evenings. CNN beat MSNBC during the daytime. They both have won rounds in this fight, and they both feel really good about it. So despite the fact that both fighters basically deliver the same exact tepid, fluffy, liberal viewpoints on the news, they are determined to beat each other to a bloody pulp where it really matters, and that is in the ratings. As spectators of this ridiculous fight, all we can do is hope they succeed in knocking each other out. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.